I'm Melvin Carter, I'm Mayor of St. Paul. I'm joined today uh, by St. Paul Police Chief Axel Henry. I'm joined by Office of Neighborhood Safety Director Brooke Blakey, uh, and also Sergeant Mike Ernst, who will share uh, some details. Um, we are tired of having this press conference. We're tired of uh, the words disgusted and senseless and frustrating, and we're, we're, we're tired of having to figure out how to put, uh, how to wrap words around violence. Uh, every one of our neighbors, every one of our community members uh, deserves to live in a community uh, free of violence and free of uh, fear of violence. Uh, and when we see uh, events like what happened tonight, when we see events like what happened last night that impact our community, uh, that, uh, that, that, that shake our sense of security, uh, it's, it, 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 it's just plain heartbreaking. Um, we said from the beginning that what the public safety uh, isn't just about what happens after a gun goes off. The public safety can't just be about what happens after somebody calls 911. It's got to be about the proactive, uh, uh, innovative, data-driven interventions that a community makes to reduce the number of times that we find ourselves calling 911 in the first place. Um, I've shared this with y'all before. I'm really proud of the, that, that body of work that we're doing. I think St. Paul has uh, crafted out um, a, uh, a, a nation leading body of work where some of that is concerned and uh, some of the folks behind me can uh, speak to that. Uh, nobody's better in our, nobody's better on the planet at getting folks to the hospital than the, our, fi our paramedics and our firefighters. Nobody's better at making sure that uh, perpetrators are held accountable uh, than our St. Paul Police Department. Nobody's better than our Office of Neighborhood Safety Partnership and the way that we work with our police officers to come for folks who've been traumatized uh, and try to help prevent the revenge killings and things like that. Uh, and we continue to see that in a community where uh, guns are all over the place, uh, in a community uh, that uh, has yet to um, address some of the common sense gun violence prediction, prevention reforms that the vast majority of Minnesotans, the vast majority of Americans uh, support uh, that um, any celebration, uh, any community institution, uh, any, any space uh, can be violated uh, in, in, in such a heartbreaking way. So, um, you know, we're going to continue to work on all this stuff. We're going to continue to be uh, in every corner of our community. Our police officers are going to continue to engage uh, in the way that they do. Uh, and we're certainly going to continue to engage uh, in the halls of policy making as well uh, to say uh, we need a fundamentally different uh, environment to work in. Um, uh, I, I want to introduce um, uh, Sergeant Mike Ernstner who, has, who can share specific details uh, about uh, the, the, the tragedy that unfolded here tonight uh, and then we can take any questions. Sergeant Ernstner. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Again, that's uh, Sergeant Mike Ernster. It's E-R-N-S-T-E-R. -E I'm the public information officer for the St. Paul Police Department. We're early on in this investigation. We don't have all the facts yet, but I can tell you what we know at this point. At approximately 5.15 p.m. this evening, our officers were called to the 500 block of Dale Street North on a report of a person shot. When officers arrived, they found a chaotic scene and learned that not only one, was one person shot, there were actually five people who were shot. They called for St. Paul Fire Paramedics to respond, but also learned that some of the victims had been transported to local hospitals by private vehicle. As far as the victims are concerned, I'll break it down and say that one of the victims was pronounced deceased by St. Paul Fire Paramedics. Another adult male was pronounced deceased at uh, United Hospital after being transported there by private vehicle. The, um, the remaining three victims, two of them are at Regions, an adult male who is in critical condition, an adult female who is uh, in stable condition, and our last victim is at United Hospital. Um, it's an adult female and she is in, uh, has non-life-threatening injuries. Preliminary information indicates that this shooting occurred in the parking lot here on the 500 block of Dale Street North after a celebration of life gathering where, where many people attended. As that event was ending, an altercation occurred and shots were fired. Uh, investigators are working to speak with witnesses, trying to understand what occurred and, and who is responsible. Um, our video management unit 
and our forensic service unit will be processing the scene out here through the night with the hopes that they locate physical evidence or any video that might show what occurred out here. Uh, no motive has been um, identified as being involved in this situation yet. Investigators are still working through what occurred, but I can tell you that they do not believe that this is a random incident. Uh, no arrests have been made. We'll be working with the Ramsey County Medical Examiner to positively identify both victims and determine their exact cause of death. This information and any other updates um, will be released on the St. Paul Police Department's Twitter account as it becomes available. Um, this is the fourth and fifth uh, homicides in the city of, in 2023. Keeping in mind that we are early on in this investigation, we'll take some questions. Um, if you want to direct them at anybody else up here, let me know. Uh, it's under investigation. Investigators are trying to work through, speaking with witnesses, looking at physical evidence, trying to determine what occurred out here. Like I said, it was very chaotic. Sergeant, is there any connection to this case with last night's <clears throat> No. Uh, investigators obviously looked at that. Um, obviously, there's a similar circumstance of a celebration of life, but there has been no connection identified that would connect either incident. Yeah, so it, I believe it was in a community room type space in the building. Do you know how many people were at that event? I don't. I think uh, investigators will be working to try and determine how many people were here because obviously we would like to talk to anybody that might have information about this. Uh, I'm sorry, another question on the celebration of life. Do you know if it was for a homicide victim or what the circumstances of that person? No, it was. It does not sound like the person died of any violence of any type. Um, I don't know their exact cause of death, but it was not violence related. Sergeant Erster, are you able to speak to the age ranges of the victims or like the deceased? I don't. There's five of them, um, obviously, and they're all adults. Um, I think I may have missed that fact on the first victim that I spoke about that uh, medics pronounced it seats. He was an adult male. But other than that, no, we'll be working with the Ramsey County Medical Examiner who will positively identify the victims and determine um, their exact names and ages. We'll release that later on on our Twitter account. Both adult males? Two adult males are deceased, yes. Uh, no arrests um, as of this time. Uh, they are still working and trying to identify who was responsible for that incident. And, and the teens who were injured, were they inside the, the lobby or where, where were they? I, I do not know exactly where they were injured, um, but they obviously they were injured there. I just don't know where they were physically, whether they are outside the building or inside. Okay. Is this property a, a common crime scene area? I've been out here for scenes before. No, I, I do not know of it as a being a scene that we or a place that we come to very frequently. Obviously, it's a multi-unit building. Uh, we may have other calls here, but um, nothing like this. Okay, do you have thank a, you. Do you have a description? I'm sorry. Do you have a description of who you were looking for? Possibly? No, investigators are trying to work with those witness statements and physical evidence, trying to figure out maybe even video evidence, trying to figure out who we're looking for. But thank you very much.